morning guys so i thought i would vlog today so welcome back to a new vlog i'm just popping on a little bit of makeup i will be honest with you i would not be wearing makeup today if i was not vlogging <laughs> but i cannot look at myself for this long with nothing on so we're going to go for a very kind of light makeup like look today um it is warm it's 26 today 26 degrees which in the uk is warm we're not equipped to deal with the heat at all i know some of you guys are probably from much hotter countries and you deal with it much better than we do but we don't and we don't have aircon we don't have aircon um so i've just popped on this concealer which i'm loving this is the trini london it's like a stackable thing that you can get um so i've got an eyeshadow at the bottom and then a concealer on the top great for traveling if you're going anywhere then i'm going to apply this which is my all-time favorite it's the ouroborean super bb anti-imperfections kind of like a foundation a bb cream i really like it you don't actually need much as you can see i've just popped a tiny bit on and i use a beauty blender i like this for days like today where i want just a bit of coverage but I don't want to feel like I'm wearing loads of foundation because I just can't stand that heavy feeling that foundation can give you, especially when it is warm. Also has SPF 20, I think, which is good. And Aurora is a great brand. I really like all of their like light CC creams and stuff. They all have skincare qualities as well, which is really good. Um, so these products never like break me out or, you know, give me any skin issues because my skin can be a little bit prone to rashes and stuff at the moment so yeah um I did try to find an outfit today that I felt comfortable in cool in and also felt like I looked okay for the vlog oh guys I'm at that stage now in pregnancy where I just I just feel disgusting and everything I'm not gonna lie <laughs> you see these girls walking around with their bums and these dresses and I'm just like I just feel uncomfortable in that kind of thing I just want to walk around in my pants and my bra all day actually oh, I haven't worn a bra in weeks so not my bra <laughs> but um but yeah I'm about I think I'm like 33 weeks now which is crazy um I'm gonna do some like nursery organizing today so just to let you know there will be some kind of baby content but um not too much just a little bit um but i'm glad on youtube that i can warn pre-warn you of that i feel like on instagram i've been doing some trigger warnings and stuff if i do mention stuff just because it's so instant on instagram but i feel like on youtube you can kind of skip it and again i'll put the little what are they call chapters down below and then you can skip whatever content that's not for you so yeah i'm gonna get some things washed today i have got low iron which is a joy especially in the heat i'm not enjoying it um so i'm feeling quite faint quite dizzy quite out of breath but you know not complaining because i never thought i would get to this point at all so i'm just rolling with it hopefully i don't sound too out of breath in this video because i know that's probably really annoying if you're watching and I can't breathe <laughs> but um can't really help that um so yeah I'm just putting a bit of concealer on like I said this is going to be a really light makeup look but to be honest that um BB cream I just love it it's just so flawless but I literally put like not even a pea size on my hand which is amazing so definitely recommend if you love lightweight makeup and you struggle to find something that you can wear every day. I love that. I also have shade Claire, I think. What shade is this? Claire, which I thought was a bit dark, but actually with the sun and stuff, I feel like it works for me right now. I wish they did a few lighter colors and a few darker colors for different skin tones. I hope that they'll come out with more shade range in the future. Um, but yeah, I feel like a lot of brands are thinking about that now which is good so i'm just going to powder this off with some nars powder just because i hate sticky foundation face stick it all over like so <sighs> so i'm probably gonna fast forward this bit now because i feel like i've shown you my makeup routine a million times um so we'll catch up when it's done Do you want anything? 
finishing? Um, sure, I'll come short. Oh yeah. Come down. Good now. I'm down now. Spray this and now come down. So there we go. Makeup is all done. Very kind of natural, very light. Haven't really done anything crazy, as you can see. We'll sort my hair out in a little bit. I don't even know what I'm going to do with my hair today because I just don't even think I can bear curling it. But we'll do something with that. And then I'm also going to show you some little Amazon bits that I've got as well. I have been going mad on Amazon. I have Amazon Prime and I find it so easy to just buy stuff on there, get it the next day and that's that. It's just such a good place to shop for stuff. Um, especially like clothes at the moment, which I never thought I'd say. Just pop some lip balm on. Everything I used um, for my makeup, I will link down below in case I know you see something that you fancy. Um, I'm gonna now pop it back <laughs> in my makeup drawer. But let's be honest, in reality, I'm actually gonna leave it on my dressing table along with all the other junk that's on there currently. Also, who is loving this lilac nail color? I have been growing my nails, guys, and I've bit my nails for my whole life, so I feel like if you've been around for a while and you've ever seen my nails on here, you will be shocked. But yeah, I've been growing my nails. I think pregnancy has probably made them super strong and they'll probably break off um, as soon as baby's here, but um, this is OPI, You're Such a Budapest. I love the color, it lasts really well. It takes quite a long time to dry, um, but I did put quite a lot of coats on. But yeah, it's kind of got a bit of a shimmer to it as well. I just really like it get loads of compliments on that so i do need to repaint it because it has chipped a little bit it's been on there for quite a long time first up i'm gonna make a nice cold coffee and i believe that chris is gonna make me a nice fancy shot in the coffee machine so that is the priority even though it's decaf and it does nothing for my energy levels we don't care about that <laughs> hello mister <laughs> <laughs> so Bernie's downstairs going absolutely bonkers. Um, but I just wanted to show you this um new look at this hair. What is going on? Um I wanted to show you this. Now this is by L'Occitan, L'Occitan, I always forget how to say it, L'Occitan, and it's a dry shampoo mist. Now, when I first got this, I was a bit skeptical. I love my dry shampoo, but I usually use the Got To Be one, which is just a spray, like a traditional dry shampoo. This is like a wet mist, and I did at first think that it might leave my hair a bit like wet and greasy looking, but oh my God, guys, this is a game changer, and it smells amazing. So what you do, is you give it a good shake, and then you spray it on the roots that I do underneath and kind of just rub it in a little bit. Like so. I also spray some underneath. And then just basically anywhere that you tend to get greasy hair. So at the crown. So then you basically just leave it to dry and then brush it through. And I used this yesterday as well. Now my hair, I could probably wash my hair every single day and it would be happy but obviously I don't want to do that so my hair does get quite greasy but this has really been saving my bacon when it comes to washing my hair because actually this refreshes my hair so much better than like a normal dry shampoo would and also it doesn't feel so like heavy on my hair either so once that's dry I mean you can already see that my roots do not look greasy at all and if I didn't have this weird like kinky thing going on here I could easily leave my hair down and it feels clean, it feels refreshed, and it also smells really nice as well. Um, it's kind of like a minty smell. But yeah, I thought I'd mention that because it's kind of getting a bit empty now, but I have been using that so much, like every day, and um, I really like it. So I'm just going to pop my hair up for today. So yeah, so that's my hair today. I'm just gonna leave it up with these little bits coming down. A good little tip if you hate having your hair up, like me, I feel like when I have my hair up, it just does not suit my face shape, is pull a little, if you pull some little bits down, so they kind of hang 
around your face. They kind of frame your face a little bit better and make it look a little bit more kind of like a hairdo rather than I've just put my hair up because I can't bother to wash it, which is basically me. <laughs> so I thought I'd just show you a little update. Um, we got this little side cabinet for the hallway. I don't think I've shown you this yet. I might have already shown you, I'm not sure. Um, but we've basically finished our hallway now. It's um, been a process. We had blue carpet in here to begin with. We actually picked this up from HomeSense and I love it so much. I mean, there's a lot of shoes around the bottom and my bag usually isn't there, but this is real life. Um, but yeah, it's just a really great cabinet and also it gives us a little bit more storage. Before we had like a table here, but because we have this kind of strange corner, it just looked a bit weird um, and took up a bit too much room. So that is the little side table that we've got. Like I said, from HomeSense, I think it was like £140, which I thought was really good. Um, yeah, and it suits our kind of flooring, rug, and everything else that we've got in here. This is from Wayfair. It used to be in my office, but we moved it down here. So that's that. We are having our doors put on soon. We've actually got a toilet here that we haven't got a door on. Um, but yeah, we're having doors put on soon as well. So that will really finish off this area. Oh, and then we have a little sleepy puppy. Are you okay? You've been barking your head off, haven't you? I think he's a little bit hot. It is quite warm today, but I'm so grateful for this kitchen floor at these times because it's such a cold floor. Um, he just loves to lay, lay on there and cool down. Although I don't know why he's that close to the door, but we'll see. It really is a dog's life, isn't it? He just gets to chill all day. This is what he does. <laughs> if you have watched my vlogs for a little while, you might know that I think it was lockdown kind of time. I got a veg truck with the intentions to grow lots of vegetables and be a self-sustained woman, eat my carrots, eat my broccoli that I've grown on my veg truck. However, it turns out I'm not that good at growing vegetables and my carrots were literally, I mean, they didn't even make it to like one millimeter thick. They were so small. So I gave up on the vegetables and now I'm a self-sufficient florist. <laughs> so I've decided instead that I want to grow flowers so that I can cut them and put them in the house and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you. I've only got two plants in there at the moment. I've got a Cosmos and a Mrs. Bradshaw. <laughs> it's very sunny out here, so I'm not gonna stay out here too long. But yeah, look at these flowers. So every now and then I cut them. I mean, these need refreshing and um, I cut these off the little white cosmos and I love how these look they're kind of like daisies but better <laughs> and this has literally tripled in size I mean it's literally taken over the whole veg truck at the moment so I need to get some other bits and bobs this is the Mrs Bradshaw but as you can see that's what it should look like eventually I've got this little shelving unit put up here with a little red robin in a pot but yeah, I just really love coming out here and snipping these and putting them in the house. I just put them in little tiny vases and they look really cute. And I've also got my little mushroom here. <laughs> okay, so I thought I'd show you some new in bits that I have got from Amazon. Um, so I absolutely love Amazon. I'm an Amazon Prime member. Um, and they kindly sent me a little voucher to spend on some bits and bobs. Um, and I thought I'd show you... What I picked up. So first up are some beauty products. So if you didn't know, you can buy so many brands and beauty products on Amazon. I didn't actually know I could get some of these things and it helped me because they come next day delivery most of the time. So first up, I got some SPF. I have a whole basket full of SPF in the kitchen and I do think that most of it went out of date. I think that I've had some of it for way too long. So I got this one, this is by Sunbum. I actually really like this brand. I've got some hair shampoo from this brand and it smells really coconutty, which I really like and I love that in a sun cream. So this is SPF 50. Then next I picked up a new Ren Global Protection Day Cream. Now this is the day cream that I wear all the time and I literally got to the end of the pump. The only thing with the pump is you can't always see when it's coming, when it's coming to the end because the label. So unless you turn it around and see this bit, you just have no idea. And I literally ran out and I was like, what am I gonna do? Luckily, they sell it on Amazon and they sell all Ren products on Amazon, which I think was great. So I picked up a new one of these. If you have 
sensitive skin or you like a really lightweight moisturizer that does feel like it's moisturizing this is a really good one to try then i picked up this now i've seen a few people talking about this this is the olaplex blonde enhancer toning shampoo it's basically a purple shampoo i obviously have blonde bits in my hair and my hair does tend to go a little bit dull and brassy at times so every now and then i just need a purple shampoo just to brighten it up i actually use this literally a couple of days ago so as you can see this like blonde here is actually more white than it probably was before i did it really like this i think it's a really good product you leave it on for three to five minutes you can even like leave it on a little bit longer but you have to be careful because it can stain your hair so i left it on for about five minutes and um, you can use it on blonde lightened and gray hair so even if you're a brunette with blonde streaks put through like me i mean i'm not completely blonde this is really good for just toning that blonde and taking out the brassy yellow tones. So I picked up these little sandals, which I thought were just so lovely and classic. Now, unfortunately, my feet have kind of swollen a little bit. Um, so they are a little bit snug on me, but I'm so excited to wear these when my feet hopefully return to their normal size, which is a size four. Um, I think I probably could have sized up, but um, they are quite narrow, I will say that. So if you've got wider feet, maybe size up. Um, but yeah, I don't know if that's just because my feet are a little bit swollen. But these are by the brand Tom's. Um, if you don't know, Tom's do those like slip-on shoes that are really comfortable. So I picked up these because I actually don't have a lot of like tan sandals in my collection. I have a lot of black. But not much tan and i have a lot of dresses that i think tan would look really nice and i love this kind of gladiator style of all the different straps i just thought those were a really cute sandal i'll leave those linked below if you're interested I have this gingham smock dress which i love smock dresses but obviously at the moment i'm buying things that hopefully will fit me now but also after i don't want to buy loads and loads of maternity stuff and then just have to stick it in the loft so this i did size up this is in the medium um which i would say has actually come up quite big i probably could have got away with a small but it's a maxi dress it goes right to the bottom completely gingham i love a bit of gingham in my life you guys will probably know that um but i'll show you what that looks like on so you can see the fit of that this would look really nice with some simple black sandals or even my trainers which i love from hush puppies just for a casual vibe um, even with a little shirt over the top or a little denim shirt so yeah i really love that excuse the background if you can hear chris singing he has his headphones in and he's gone to the world <laughs> he stopped so lastly from amazon i then have this little beautiful dress now if you guys watch other youtubers you will have seen this because this is like an influencer I hate that word influencer dress on amazon but i can see why i had to order one so i got the cream color there's so many colors i panicked and i picked cream which probably isn't the best for my skin tone so i might actually get a pink one next and then we've got quite oversized sleeves with this like polka dot effect on the material we have a elasticated bodice which obviously is really flattering and then it just goes down into this beautiful skirt and i wasn't sure what this was going to be like i will admit i didn't know if it was going to be a bit like hit and miss but the material is really thick and beautiful and actually for like 35 pound i think it was it's a really lovely quality um but obviously i'll try that on and show you that because i feel like you have to see it on to appreciate how lovely that is um but yeah I might pick up the pink one next because I feel like a brighter colour might be a little bit fun. What else have I got to show you? Okay, so this room is a little bit of a mess at the moment. We've got like car seats, prams, boxes, <laughs> more car seats. Um, so you just have to ignore that. But I just wanted to show you this little um, side table, like bedside table that we bought on Amazon as well. Um, so I used part of my voucher to get this because we usually have a chair here which has been moved just for now because I've been sitting in Chris's office because it's the coolest room in the house. Um, so yeah, so this will be, the chair will be here and then this is next to it. And I'm gonna fill this with all the things that I might need um i don't know during the night or anything like that but i just thought it was such a good little amazon find so i think this was like 89 pound on amazon this is like a creamy color on the camera it's coming up a bit like green but it's kind of like 
an off cream now i did think it was white because this is so white i think it just looks a little bit green but i actually don't mind that so much um and then you've got three drawers i'm gonna change the handles i think to something a little bit more kind of wooden because obviously we've got the wooden cot so yeah the drawers are really sturdy and then this at the top is wood as well which i thought was really good it comes fully made so you don't have to make it it's not flat pack and then i have some little bits on the top which are also from amazon so i've got this little ooh and the sheep you and the sheep which loads of people recommended i need to put some batteries in him though but he's just living there and then I have a Tommy Tippy little temperature egg. As you can see, it's way too hot in here right now. I really like the idea of this. Um, it says a temperature on there and it goes like green is okay. Red is too hot, I believe. Um, I don't actually have this plugged in at the moment. I just kind of plugged it in for the video. But these are really good for like knowing the temperature of the room. The little rainbow is actually from Home Bargains. But then I also got this little book from Amazon as well. Um, it's To The Moon and Back For You. I actually saw someone talk about this on Instagram. It's a really emotional book. It's basically a baby book, but it's written by the parents who have experienced quite a long journey to get to their baby, um, whether it's IVF or miscarriage or anything like that. It's obviously very fitting for us. Um, oh. I would do it all over again for you. Honestly, we read this and literally bawled our eyes out. It's very simple, um, but yeah, the pictures, oh, hey, just even looking at that makes me cry. Probably won't read that to the baby too much because I won't be able to control myself. I also picked up this buff from Amazon as well. I will leave all these things linked below, by the way, if you want any links, but um, I heard good things about this. So you basically fill up the bath and then the water can come through here and they can sit on there. Um, I think this was like 20 pound. Um, so that was a good little buy as well. Um, and then I've basically just piled everything up in here. I really need to sort out these drawers. Um, but we have a little steamer, which is like a little steriliser that goes in the microwave for the bottles. I have a baby carrier. Maybe I'll get that out and show you what that looks like because it's really pretty. really like the colour of this because it wasn't like black or grey, even though it has accents of grey. Um, it's kind of like a mushroom colour and it looks quite breathable as well. No idea how to use it, but it looks, it looks fancy, so that will do. Um, but yeah, this is my collection of nappies, which my mum has been buying me. And then in here, we just have loads of stuff. I will link as much stuff as I can down below that I've bought on amazon as well because i feel like they're really good for baby stuff and you can also do like a baby wish list um and if you buy a few things off of your wish list i believe you get like a free gift i think that's still going on so if that's still happening i'll leave that linked below this isn't an ad by the way i'm just a really big fan of amazon so we also got um some little bits from mam they actually sent us a little gift um so we got some little bottles oh with a dummy everyone really really rates these bottles so um i'm really excited to give these a go everyone loves them i think they self sterilize in the microwave as well um which is really easy and good and then we've got loads of like little dummies um these are my favorite they have like little hedgehogs on and i think they're so cute so yeah really cute um so yeah that's basically baby room i'm now going to just take down some baby grows to wash because i feel like if i start doing that my brain will be a bit a bit happier with my, with me Right guys i am absolutely exhausted i basically sorted out the entire baby room this afternoon did loads of washing and have just exhausted myself out um third trimester exhaustion is a thing who knew um so i really hope you enjoyed this vlog it's been really nice to be back on youtube and yeah leave me a little comment below if you watched it don't forget to give it a nice big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and i'll catch you next time for another video thank you so much for watching and see you soon bye